Hello, hello folks. So, we are reflecting today on this EOD vlog of the night of Liverpool's calamitous Champions League exit. Calamitous in many ways. In the fact that they lost their talisman very early on, Salah getting uh, wrestled to the ground. Loris Karius, the goalkeeper for Liverpool, uh, made two um, monumental errors, you could say, which cost them the game, essentially. Uh, the first one um, put them one down. They equalised very quickly after, but huge aberration. I mean, how can you not see Benzema is right next to you when you're throwing the ball out? Yeah, uh, not great. And then the um, the bail, uh, the bail goal, the, th the second, the first bail goal was unreal. I mean, I don't think there'll ever be a goal that tops that in a Champions League final. It, well, in general, you've struggled to find goals that top that. The second bail goal is something I think you'll want to forget in a hurry. Um, yeah, so not not good. Everybody is going in on him at the moment. I think if you're a Liverpool fan, you would feel incredibly, incredibly annoyed. Biggest game in the last 13 years for them, and that happens. So you sort of feel you sort of feel very aggrieved by that. Someone who's played the game a little bit and, and is a goalkeeper, I understand the whole being blamed vibe and it's uh, it's not pleasant especially when you all mistake has cost a team a game and it's uh, it's horrible it's, I mean on the biggest stage of your life as well the Champions League final it's going to be terrific for him I genuinely believe he will bounce back lots of people are saying he's this is it now for him he's finished he's gone he's done I think he'll probably leave Liverpool I, I think Liverpool will buy somebody Alisson it looks like from Roma but Carrius has probably done at Liverpool but he's not done I don't think in general a lot of fans are sort of you know forgetting right now Carrius had a really good run of form in the lead up to the final. He was doing the, doing the simple stuff really well, making some, some good saves in the league. He's kept them in many a game, you know, the Man City um, game in the uh, quarterfinals in the Champions League. That he was one of their better players for, for, for a lot of it. So I just think that there's no doubt about it, it is, it is his fault. But when you're a goalkeeper, you're either a hero or a villain. And uh, sadly on this occasion, he was the villain. It was a huge gamble. It's gotta be the Liverpool management and hierarchy's fault because if they thought he wasn't good enough at one point in, in in the season, perhaps in the January transfer window, then they should have gone out to buy a, a, a big name goalkeeper instead of Virgil van Dijk perhaps. Maybe that would have been a better signing for them. No, one can, no one's got a crystal ball, no one can foresee the future. He's a talented goalkeeper with, in terms of his skill set, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, he's made a couple of humongous errors, but I think if you look at it on paper, if you're going to play someone who is capable of those types of saves that he can make, but also the types of errors that he can make, then it's, it's always going to be something you risk, isn't it, in the final? There are so many variables, but I think at the end of the day, you've got to give the guy a chance, you've got to start him, you've got to play him. He can either win you the game or he can lose you the game, and on this occasion, he lost it for him. Football, harsh world. He must be feeling horrific at the moment, there's no doubt about that. You would like to think that the team and, and the management and the club have been supportive for him, but you know, it didn't look so good for him at, off the, uh, at the final whistle. What do you think about Loris Karius then? Do you think he's got a future in football anymore? Do you think he's still going to be at Liverpool in the next few months? Hit me up about what you think about Loris Karius. Is he still good enough to play Premier League football? Is he? What do you think needs to happen for him to revitalise his career and let me know also about what you thought about the game as well. Love to hear your comments, hit me up in the, uh, the, the section below and also like and subscribe. I will see you again for another EOD vlog. Give it positive, be happy, have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.